He's the perfect wingman and one of our favourite sporting icons. And he's going back to school. SA Springbok Cheslin Colby visited his old primary school in Cryfontaine along with his wife Layla as part of the Cheslin Colby Foundation's latest initiative. Their focus? Education. I always never forget where I come from, I uh, never forget my roots and um, if it wasn't for the school to, to instill good values in me, um, I wouldn't be the person that I am today and just receiving an amazing welcome from all the learners, the staff has, has been really um, over the moon for me. The main focus areas of our foundation was sports development, education, food security and I thought education is a great way to, you know, come to the school. Partnering with a renewable energy company, Colby and Leila aim to ignite a passion for science and technology among the students. Not all of us can be Ches and Colby, but we all have one super talent and that's our brains. And for the kids, we were trying to, to encourage them to tap into the STEM subjects, the science, technology, engineering and mathematics. It's not enough to say uh, and to really express how we feel today for having Cheslin here, for having Mandela Day and to have the kids enjoy what we encourage because our motto at our school is together we can. I'm kind of feeling like over the moon because I mean we got to see the incredible um, Cheslin Kobe and the fact that we get to build our own turbine it's really happy, I'm really happy. But it doesn't stop there. In a commendable act of generosity and to mark Mandela Day, the Cheslin Colby Foundation and Red Rocket has made a significant donation to Gift of the Givers, the largest disaster response non-profit organization on the continent. I'm excited that a world's rugby superstar can set an example for the new generation to follow. It's telling the whole country and it's telling the whole world that community comes first, humanity comes first, that your own struggles and your own achievements are for the sake of others. He's basically saying that I'm prepared to sacrifice for the benefit of others. I want you to learn a lesson from me that you can, don't forget where you come from. Remember your past, remember your roots, remember your beginning. These kinds of collaborations certainly highlight the power of collective efforts in making a difference. Tanya Neft, Cape Town.